What's up, people? It's your belief, and today I'm gonna be talking about five classes that I really enjoy running in Warzone. These aren't the top best new meta guns or whatever. Uh, some of them might be, but these are just my favorite guns that I've been liking to run in Warzone. I'm sorry if your guns aren't in it. Um, also, these are not in any particular order, but for sure, the last class setup is hands down my favorite number one go-to class of all time. Let's go ahead and start it. If you like Warzone stuff and you guys like this, go ahead and let me know in the comments and slap that like button. All right, so the most important class I think is hands down this Growl 556 class. So this is my fully loaded class. It's super important because none of the new Cold War guns actually have fully loaded. So usually fully loaded, it's really important to grab it if you came back from the Gulag or if you're running out of ammo and there's a second loady and you wanna grab it for Ghost, you can switch it for ghost and get fully loaded. So I like the Grab 556 because the iron sights are really nice. What I run on it is the Mono, Tempest, Archangel, Commando 4 Grip, 60 round mags, and fully loaded. If you don't want to run fully loaded and you want to use this as your main primary gun, which is not your throwaway class, you can actually switch the fully loaded for the Tackle Laser. That'll give you a very competitive ADS time against other assault rifles. I wouldn't recommend running the optic unless you really want to. Um, you could always switch for the optic and run a VOK or the Corp Combat Hollow Sight. And then the secondary I would run with this fully loaded class is going to be the Diamantes with an agency suppressor, 7.8 chrome line barrel, 5MW watt laser sight, and 30 rounds and drop shot wrap. So I wouldn't recommend running the Diamantes with the dual wield or Kimbos just because they nerf it a little bit. But running it so like with solos without the duel is actually still very viable because it has a very fast TTK. It's so the second class that I have been really enjoying using, but haven't seen a lot of people use, is this AN94 with the Cold War MP5. The AN94 is just a standard Mono Warfare build, which is the Mono, largest barrel, commander four grip, 60 rounds, and the VOK. It kind of sucks because it is a two burst, so it's kind of hard to be accurate if you're just trying to like tap people. From pretty far across the map but it's actually a really nice assault rifle I think it's pretty competitive and I might even dare say that it's better than the growl with the attack laser but I definitely have to give this gun a try again I've been trying to do a whole bunch of sniping videos for you guys uh, but I really like the A94 you guys should definitely give it a try uh, don't sleep on it I, I feel like it's gonna be pretty decent I think it, I, I definitely feel like this gun is stronger than the kilo and the recoil is not that bad to control. So the secondary I'm using on it is this Cold War MP5. I'm using the Ranger Barrel for the bullet velocity, a 5MW for the hip fire accuracy, the Bruiser Grip, so this has a hidden recoil reduction value. I believe it's vertical recoil that actually helps. So that's really nice because the 5MW or the Cold War MP5 has a weirdly high vertical recoil. So by putting on this Bruiser Grip, I feel like it mitigates that really nicely and then i'm running the 50 round drum mag uh just because this is the biggest one you could run the fast mag that's the 50 rounds but i'm not too sure if they fix the bugginess of all these attachments because if you run the speed mag i believe is the same reload time but the slower ads so i'm just being safe and running the 50 round standard drum mag um, and I'm running the collapsible stock. It has no cons, supposedly, but I'm pretty sure it, has, it increases some of your recoil. But what's important about it is it does increase your sprint to fire time. So when you're running and you lift up your gun, it increases how fast you can actually lift up your gun before you start shooting. So that's why I like running it. I would switch it for the no stock, but of course it affects your hip fire accuracy. And I haven't unlocked that yet, but this gun is like really fun to use. I would recommend you guys using it. It has more ammo than the Mono Warfare MP5, so give it a try, and it's something new. And then for the class, running EOD, Overkill, Amp, Simtex, and Stun Grenade. These perks, lethals, and tacticals are essentially what I'm using if I'm not first going off with Ghost or Restock, this is what I'm running. So I'm not going to tell you guys over and over again what it is. And the third class I'll be showing you guys is the Krig 6 with the Bullfrog. So the Krig 6 is a really decent assault rifle from Cold War. Most Cold War assault rifles have this weird wobble to it, so it's hard to hit longer shots. 
um, but with the Krig 6 it's nice because it doesn't have that much of that wobble um, so what I like to run with it is the agency suppressor for the bullet velocity so this is essentially the you know mono to cold war weapons and then running the ranger for bullet velocity and then the bruiser grip for that hidden recoil reduction and then 60 rounds and also the vision tech two times so you could run the three times instead but j god said that actually the two times is a lot closer to the vok uh scope in time rather than the three times Really, I believe the three times is more like a four times, which is kind of odd. If that even makes sense, I feel like I'm confusing you guys. But I personally like running the two times. It's up to you if you want to run the three times or not. For the secondary, I will be running is the Bullfrog. So the Bullfrog, I feel like is very underrated. It's super fun to use. I really like it. Um, I'm trying to get the mono for it still. Uh, but right now I'm running the KBG, KGB Eliminator and the Liberator is the barrel that I am running. So for the bullet velocity, I will switch this for the task force, whatever this thing is going to be. And then the Bruiser Grip for the hidden recoil control, the 65 round speed mag, and also the wire stock for the sprint to fire time. So I really like the Bullfrog. Definitely do not recommend using the Bullfrog with a sniper rifle because it has um, it doesn't have as much damage as I would like it to have. But it's definitely a better PP Bison and has a huge ammo capacity. So you can still fight like two dudes without having to worry about reloading so much or maybe even three dudes. So definitely recommend you trying the Bullfrog. It's really nice and, and the Krig. So the fourth class I'm going to be showing you guys is the Tundra with the Groza. So the Tundra is a nice Cold War sniper rifle. Um, it's definitely not my favorite assault rifle in all of Warzone, but it might be my favorite cold war sniper rifle what i like to run on it is the rap suppressor because it gives you the damage range and the sound suppression and then combat recon i like running it because of the bullet velocity the tiger team it gives you less bullet velocity but i think a little bit more damage but it's pointless to have that extra damage when you're kind of, you're kind of be going for headshots anyways so i would definitely recommend running bullet velocity combat recon uh, barrel on it and then I'm running the infiltrator grip just for faster movement speed and the fast mag because it has no cons to it, supposedly, if we're reading this stuff here. I'm not running grips because we don't know if the ADS times are actually giving us ADS times in Cold War weapons. Last time I checked, people were saying it wasn't giving you ADS time. And also, last time I heard, the flinch resistant actually gives you more flinch for your sniper rifles. So. I'm just playing it safe and not adding them on because for these cold war sniper rifles there's so much flinch it's ridiculous which is the reason why i don't like them as much it's hard to play a very aggressive fit you gotta you can still play very aggressive fit you just gotta be a lot smarter with how you're moving and knowing if people are gonna aim and shoot you so it's not it's just not as forgiving as other marksman rifles from modern warfare the last attachment for the Tundra I highly recommend you guys use is the SUSAT multi zoom. So this guy is a two to four times magnification. And um, if you guys already play the Tundra, you guys know there's like this weird visual thing when you like aim down sides. But if you use this zoom here, it doesn't give you that weird animation. I tried using the Vulture uh, custom zoom. The only issue with it is I have um, NVIDIA filters on, so when I aim down and I look and they're about like 100 yards or something, maybe even 50 yards, it actually like whites out my screen, so it's super hard to see people. And I found this, and then I found this site, and it actually works pretty good. The only issue is this is that site with that weird like blurry lens in the middle, like on the sides. Um, I think I'm gonna put some gameplay up here for you guys so you guys can see it. That's the only issue, but I really like it. It's not that bad. So you guys go ahead and give it a try if you guys are tired of that stupid animation thing. And then the Groza is a pretty decent secondary for sniper rifles. Uh, I haven't run it like as a primary yet, but as a secondary, it's really nice, especially for those longer ranges. And I like running the Growl Suppressor. I just got this, so I'm super excited to try it. And then the Gru Bullet Velocity, which is very important. 
bruiser grip for that weird vertical recoil reduction hidden stat 60 round mags and the vision tech two times so for sure i really like this assault rifle it's really nice but let's go ahead and go to my favorite class in all of warzone all right so this right here is hands down my favorite class setup in warzone so it's a car 98 with the ffar so the car 98 is still hands down the best sniper rifle in warzone with the mono the largest barrel tack laser sniper scope and the f tack so you can run the rubberized oh actually the stipple with the car 98 but i feel like uh with f tack you're getting straight more ads speed than the stipples i would just recommend doing that so the car 98 is hands down the best aggressive assault uh sniper rifle in warzone it's just the most consistent for me and also the best part about it is it doesn't have insane flinch like all the other cold war sniper rifles so you can play very aggressive with a sniper rifle and then my favorite assault rifle from cold war has to be the ffar because the ffar has the second fastest time to kill the only thing that beats it is the as valve but this gun has a 50 round drum so that's freaking amazing and i also like to run agency suppressor ranger for the bullet velocity and then infiltrator grip for the moving speed all these pluses in moving speed shooting moving speed and walking speed all that is freaking amazing because you're using this kind of like an smg and then the sas which is also a whole bunch of boosts to your movement speed so it's super nice as a secondary i would definitely not recommend using this as a primary unless you're a freaking god i'm not so i'm not gonna do it you can because you guys are all most likely gods out there but this is hands down my favorite setup and class to run in warzone so i hope you guys enjoy my five favorite classes in warzone currently let me know if you guys want to see more loadouts hopefully these loadouts help you guys out and it's something a little bit interesting please let me know in the comments if you guys do enjoy it smash the like button if you guys do go ahead and subscribe if you guys want to see more warzone related content i'll see you guys later good luck in warzone a peace